10 ways to work out without the gym. Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Guthrow, helping people all over the world live lean and stay lean 365 days a year. As you guys know, if you've been following us for a while now, we go to the gym quite a bit. We love training at the gym, and for us, it's been the most effective way to really transform and see dramatic change in our bodies. But it's certainly not the only physical activity we do, and there's so many other things we do outside of the gym that are equally as important to staying lean as going to the gym is. I think that sometimes people get the wrong impression by watching us that we just live in the gym and we're there like all day every day and that's the only exercise that we get, but it couldn't be further from the truth. There is so much more to living lean than being a gym rat. One of the most important things to your live lean lifestyle is that you actually enjoy the physical activities that you're doing so that you'll continue to do them as a lifestyle for years and decades to come. Please don't be one of those like miserable faced, angry gym rats that like shows up to the gym every day and just goes through the motions, like barely putting any effort in and just looking completely miserable the whole time. Don't be that guy or girl. So check out our top 10 ways to work out outside of the gym. Number one is to go for a bike ride. You can either use your bike to commute back and forth to work or school, or you can just go for a long ride on the beach or in the woods, wherever you happen to live. It's really enjoyable. You'll get some fresh air. You'll see a lot of scenery and it's good exercise. Number two is to do a stairs workout. And by this, I mean not just going up and down the stairs, but get a little more creative. Do things like one-legged hops or squat jumps. You can do calf raises or push-ups. There's a lot you can do on the stairs other than just up and down. Number three is to do stadium laps. So in this case, you do just go up and down. You can do single steps. You can do double steps, triple steps mix it up, keep it interesting. And I encourage you to do this in intensity intervals. So you go up fast, you take a recovery break and you come down slow and then you repeat for however many you want. Doing stairs like this is one of the number one ways to burn fat and you'll know after just a couple of laps how effective it is by how hard you're breathing. Number four is to play a sport like basketball, for example, or you can play tennis, volleyball, you know, there's a lot of different sports out there. So just choose which sport is your favorite and either join a team or play on your own. Number five is to get outdoors and play with your family. We love running around the beach with our dog, Bruno. But if you have kids or you have a big, large family, like play some different games and just get out to the backyard or to the park or wherever and just have some fun. Number six is to swim laps. I know a lot of people say they don't have access to a pool, but there's a lot of public pools you can join like the YMCA or rec center in your neighborhood. Or if you do have a pool in your backyard, get in there and use it. Swimming laps is an excellent low impact cardio that just not enough people take advantage of. Number seven is to do a Tabata workout. And lucky for you here on our YouTube channel, we have tons of Tabatas that you can actually follow. They're real time. You can do Tabatas along with me or Brad. They're super fun workouts. They only take four minutes and you need no equipment. You just, you don't even need a timer. If you're following a video, you just follow along with what we're doing on the screen. Number eight is to do a home yoga practice. This also requires no equipment other than a yoga mat. And it's really nice for those recovery days. Aside from weightlifting, I like to do these in between days where I do go to the gym. I'll stay home and do a yoga workout. Number nine is hiking. Get outside, find a mountain or even a hill and hike up it. This is great exercise. You'll also see really scenic views from the top, which feels like a reward for all your hard work. I dare you to do three pull-ups on that tree branch. Go! Are we sure it's stable? Doesn't matter, I dare you. Beast mode. One. Ow, scraping my leg. Two. Let's go for the trays. Oh, she did it. Oh my God, that hurt. Oh snap, I wonder what she's gonna make me do next. And number 10 is dancing. And you don't have to be a great dancer to dance. Just put on a song that makes you feel like moving and have some fun. This is a clip of me and Brad dancing at the gym in between our working sets. So the bottom line here is to do what makes you feel good because if you feel good, you're gonna wanna keep doing it. And that is one of the biggest keys to living lean. I can't stress this enough. Consistency really is everything. So if you're doing a workout program that makes you feel miserable, it's not gonna last. 
Hopefully from watching this video, you'll get some ideas of things that you can do and ways you can enjoy physical fitness and cardio activity without feeling like you're doing cardio. Now for more workout ideas, if you actually do want a structured workout program to follow, check out all of our programs at liveleantv.com in the shop page and you're gonna see a giant list of programs we've created. We also have new program every single month inside Team Live Lean. And a lot of these programs you don't need a gym for. A lot of our followers are doing these workouts at home just with a set of dumbbells. That is also another option for ways you can work out without the gym. I just don't want you guys to feel limited thinking that you have to go to the gym or else you can't live lean because it's really not the truth. There's lots of people on this planet who are living lean and never go to the gym. So if you hate the gym, don't worry. You don't have to be there, but you do have to move your body and eat well. All right, that's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys at the next one. We have new episodes every Thursday, Monday, Saturday, and Sunday. Lots of content here on this channel for you guys. Also, make sure to follow us on social media. My Snapchat handle is SnappyJessie, and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, and keep living lean. I've been working hard on creating a pregnancy program that you can follow to have as amazing of a pregnancy as I've had.